Bonjour, je m'appelle Sahil, il s'appelle Tony, and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan. Why are we talking in French? Because we've got lip preamp pedals right in front of us from Two Notes Audio Engineering. Before we get into them, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. The only French I knew in school was Je m'appelle Sahel, je ne suis pas français, je ne comprends pas. Basically telling my French teacher I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and um, these pedals are uh, pretty clued in, uh, they're pretty cool. Um, Preamp pedals where you don't need an amp. I mean, you can go straight even to the board, right, from them. Um, uh, can you share a little bit more about these pedals? Sure. Um, I have a little bit of experience with them because I had. Uh, a friend who used to have uh, one of them mm. and uh, they're really cool. He used to uh, pair it with his two notes torpedo, yeah. which was a, again a cab, a power amp and cab simulator. Mm. And uh, you know, you get a, a completely portable rig with yeah. just those two, those two things. You get a preamp pedal and you get power amp and cabinet simulation in the, in the torpedo. Yeah. And it, you know, it has an effects loop. You can stick whatever you want in the, yeah. in the chain and you get, you know, a, a fully functional, portable, like really tiny rig. You don't need an amp, you don't need yeah. to mic an amp, you don't mm. need a cabinet, you don't need speakers, all of those I things. I mean, it is revolutionary. It, there have been, uh, you know, multi-stump boxes in the past which have not really given an accurate, uh, uh, how should I be say, a uh, portraying of, uh, you know, the amp and the rig. But um, I think this pretty much covers it. I mean, for different styles of amps and uh, different gain stages also i mean each of these pedal has each of these pedals have like a double gain stage in them right if i'm not mistaken yeah. plus an option for hot and cold an fusion to stack them yeah stack them together or go in parallel right yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean if you look at this uh, there's a, a di output as well uh, there's an option for a speaker sim a ground lift a midi in and out a return and output uh, your input your through your send and again MIDI in. Um, the through actually allows you to uh, daisy chain a few of these together, right? Yeah, yeah. So like if you don't want to activate the pedal, it goes straight from the input to the through into the next pedal. I mean, so imagine having three types of these pedals and having different pedals in each of these effects loops dedicated only to that preamp pedal. I mean, it's insane. Okay, that, that, that removes the portability factor. If you have yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 yeah, yeah, pedals. Yeah, correct. But, yeah. uh, you know, but that, that gives you like a, the, the tone factor. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, you've got your Fender style uh, preamp pedal. You've got your Marshall style preamp pedal. I, would you say Mesa or? Uh, it's, it's not as... Uh, PB. The, yeah, it's, it's a high gain. High gain, let's yeah. Say let's just, let's gain. just say yeah. high gain pedal. But uh, very impressive, I mean, uh, we're going to run through them. Um, in the rig that we're going to uh, record uh, each of these preamp pedals, we're going to do, that, do them individually. Um, we, we have a DI out from here, going straight into the recorder. Um, we will use a speaker simulation. And also we will run uh, the output into the Torpedo Cab M. And uh, we will list uh, what setting it's on. And you can have a listen to how they sound uh, separately, the, the lower gain uh, or the clean channel along with the dirty channel and stack together in parallel in series. So let's get to it.
So you've heard how they sound, what do you think? Would you pick them up? Which was your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Okay, Tony, by the way, was your dad psychic? Oh no, I'm because scared he, was knew, he knew, he knew. My son's gonna be a guitarist, so better put some tone into his uh, name. Uh, huh? <laughs> I think I have, I have a feeling I know who, who inspired that joke, but we're gonna leave him out of this video. Leave him out of this video, yeah. Before he gets strolled out. <laughs> anyway. Um, so which one was your favorite or, you know, any setting in particular that you thought was so cool? So anyone who knows me knows like I'm a, I'm a rocker at heart. So mm. I'd say, you know, my favorite was uh, Lalit. Yeah. But, I, you know, I thought all of them were, did a superb job at what yeah. they did. I mean, um, you know, the clean side of this, A side of this is more like a twin. Yeah. And the B side is more like a, a tweed kind of basement mm. sort of a sound. Correct. And then you stack them and you get more gain than you would, think would you should a, get from Fender. Uh, yeah. Fender style amps. And, and it's great. It worked so well. It worked beautifully well. It felt really yeah. great to play. Uh, and then we have the, the gold pedal and the crunch. I was uh, not too fond of that one actually. It was okay. It was, it was like very mid uh, I think I think orientated. If, I think maybe if we sat around and tweaked, you know, with the cab and the power yeah, amp settings yeah, a bit, yeah, maybe be we better, were. Yeah. So even I, while I did think at certain settings it really did the Marshall thing very mm -hmm. well, I thought it wasn't as versatile as say mm -hmm. um, the clean. The clean, yeah. And but the lead was yeah, the lead was wow. great. It has got a you know the the A channel is very uh, it's overdrivey more than it mm -hmm. is. Um, you know, like an amp, and the B channel was sounded like a, and felt like a, a really high gain, nice amp. And then when yeah. you stack them, stack them in hot fusion mode, you got like more gain than you would really need. So yeah, you know. I mean, and having one of these pedals with a cab amp gives you endless possibilities. Yeah. You know, I mean, in terms of uh, how you want the output, and since the cab amp has reverb in it, you could actually just go with these two pedals and uh, do a show. You know, yeah. also as well, straight into the board. Um, I think these pedals are for 30,000 rupees from Stompbox. Uh, they sent us these pedals to review. Uh, you can check out the links in the description below. So I hope you enjoy that episode where we review these excellent tube-based preamp pedals. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you stay up to date with all our latest videos. Follow Tony and me on social media. Our links are in the description below. If you want to support us in making such videos, become a patron today. My Patreon link is in the card above. Go there and subscribe today. And finally, Tony, keep on rocking.